Hi, Antioch. Let's pray. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all thy works are praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy Spirit, breath of the Almighty, settle again on our community and our families this week. Holy Spirit, comforter and counselor, for those battling physical and mental health challenges, draw near. And for the family and friends of those battling these health challenges, provide peace and creativity when the ability to be physically near is fractured. We ask that you bring peace and strength and comfort to Martita Marks and her family as they deal with challenges this week. We ask that you bring peace and strength and comfort to the Blackhold family as they mourn the passing of Dave's mother. We ask that you bring peace and strength and comfort to the Graham family while Cheryl's mother Cora is in the hospital. We ask that you bring peace and strength and comfort to the Huffman family as they continue to love and care for Jennifer. For these families and for those that have gone unnamed, Spirit of the living God, grant strength enough for today. Jesus Christ, Word of God, you lead the way in the reconciliation of all things, but it's hard to follow. Now, more than usual, we find ourselves prone to judge our fellow man. When someone thinks about or responds to this crisis just a little bit differently than we prefer, we do not seek peace. Our sanctimony wells up and our anger grows. We seek to control our world and those around us. This mess pits friend against friend and sister against brother, and father against son and mother against daughter. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. We can be agents of peace only as we submit to you. Holy Father, you're the God of mighty deeds. You work mighty deeds that are large and glorious and undeniable and you work mighty deeds that are small and still and quiet. Draw our attention to the green shoots found everywhere as your kingdom advances and as you work wonders in our hearts and in the world around us. Thank you for the calling you've given us to join you in this work. Thank you, Father, for our church body and the unique role you have for us to play. Thank you for the calling you've placed on Nathan and Carrie Riley and their family as they prepare to replant the Red Sea Church in Portland. How bittersweet to send them, and how curious that you bring them to this transition during such an odd time. Your hand is mighty, Lord, and how can we help? And thank you, Father, for the opportunity you've given us to begin a new chapter of stewardship with the purchase of the building at Sixth and Clay. May we honor you with this physical space and may your name be glorified through Antioch in Midtown Bend and in the rest of Bend and in all the Pacific Northwest. Holy Spirit, teach us to be ministers of peace and reconciliation today and tomorrow. And Lord Jesus Christ, come quickly.